Hey there, fellows. In today's video, we have got a very interesting experiment in store for you. The idea was suggested by a viewer. So this right here, you can get at pretty much any pharmacy. I've got some iodine monochloride for veterinary use. You can find it anywhere. And we're interested to see how it reacts uh, with aluminum. Some of you have surely seen it, and those who haven't, I suggest you have a look. At that video where they're <laughs> treating calves with pneumonia. <laughs> I don't know, it could be fake. Tell us what you think, I mean, we are not veterinarians here. Anyway, the point is that it's supposed to react with the aluminum some way or another. And so I suggest we conduct a couple of tests in this episode and see what that's all about. All right, let's get to it. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link, of course, is going to be in the description. But the first thing we need to do is try and recreate that video clip. Now, we don't have a pot on us, but we do have a jar, which we'll stuff some aluminum into. Yeah, that should do. Now I grab this and take it outside. Okay, so I've placed the jar onto a brick. I mean, what do you guys think? Were those calves even able to survive? I mean, from the looks of it, they were fine. And he even shut the door for an hour. That's enough smoking. Exposure... lasts one hour. Was it fake or was it not? We're about to find out. Excellent. I guess now we have to wait. It's probably not going to react right away. Oh, I can see some bubbles forming, that's nice. And now we wait. So as far as I can tell, no, it's actually quite obvious that we're seeing a healthy reaction. That dark, I mean, that crimson coloration of the gases exuded is gone. They are white now. And we had a lot of aluminum in there. And honestly, I wouldn't be walking around a barn with a jar like this. This is very interesting indeed. We are seeing a reaction, all right. This might work pretty well as a rust converter. Should we try it out? Oh, I'll find some rusty junk. I'm sure we have some nuts, bolts. Wait, an entire lot of them? Well, first we'll have to extract all of the aluminum out of there, which there is quite a bit of. Okay, now we're gonna try and see whether this stuff reacts with rust. I've got me a bolt, which is right for the purpose. Well, it is sizzling, but I can't tell what exactly it is. It might even be eating through the rust. Something is definitely happening. Okay, and we have smoke once again. Did you bring me an aluminum bolt? Nope, steel. Let me stir it a little bit. 
and see what happens. Oh, now it's reacting with the stick. For real? Check that out. I mean, it's clean, isn't it? What gives? What is this? For real? What the... Look at this, guys. The zinc layer is gone. See how it removed the zinc? This is some hardcore stuff. Now I'm gonna chuck in... a few coins. And here's what's up, guys. We are looking alright. There was a bit of hissing, but then it stopped, and now... If it treats zinc the way it does... Okay, so look here, we've grabbed this bolt. It's brand new. And a couple of self-tapping screws. Also, I got myself a key for a lot of them. I don't know, it is chrome-plated. We have no idea what this is gonna do to chrome. But let's toss in the screws. And now the key. Let me push it in there. And also leave this section. Now, chrome is a seriously durable material, so I reckon it should do just fine. That'll do. One pill should do the trick. <laughs> the boys saw what was going on and they got out of control. They brought me this copper bit, which they've attached some lead to. That's a wheel balancing weight. They're like, dip it in there. And I was like, okay. Right, let's see. Nothing is happening. I guess. So we've waited for a bit and honestly, nothing seems to be happening. Removing the lead and copper. And the copper is white for some reason. What about the chrome? Well, it's lost its shine, but not much else has happened. Oh wow, look at what happened to the rusty bolt. It's like brand new. And the washer has fallen off. There is... No more rust. What about that new bolt and the self-tappers? Well, the zinc is gone. This is bare metal. And it's the same story here. Let's have a look at the coins. Oh wow. They're all murky. Let's clean them and have a closer look. Oh, here's the washer that fell off. It used to be covered in rust, and it used to live right here. It was quite impossible to remove. Look at that pile. Let's set the self-tappers and the coins aside. Now, looking at this one, not all of the corrosion has been removed. The key also looks a bit dull. And that's about it. Okay, let's discuss the results. The lead and copper... Well, the copper is now a weird color. The chrome? Nothing spectacular has happened to it, aside from the key having a matte finish for some reason. As for the coins, well, this is pretty amazing. Look at how it's all coming off. The corrosion they've... They've been subject to over the years, look at it flaking off. So this piece of metal I used to stir the jar... It already showed us that something is up, with the zinc melting and revealing bare metal. The bolt and the self-tappers were also zinc-plated. And this bolt was covered with such a layer of rust that you couldn't even get the washer off. It was so nasty with all of the rust. But now it looks brand new. And there you have it. These are some pretty impressive results. I guess we are dealing with a rust converter. So it actively reacts with aluminum as well as effectively removing zinc and rust. It's an aggressive compound. I suggest we do that again. This nut and bolt are thoroughly seized. Check it out. You see what sort of condition they're in? Let me put this in the jar. This is also seized. 
And this one ain't moving. Awesome. Okay, pour it in. Ooh, look at it sizzling. And since we are... an automotive channel, 99.9% .9 of the time, we've brought along this aluminum bit for a car. I mean, how could we resist? Now, immediately, I'd like to say that we do not recommend you try this at home. It's really not a great idea. Granted, we did show you that video with the calves, but still, you gotta be really careful with this. There we are. You think that's enough? It's hard to tell. And there's only a tiny bit left. Might as well pour it in. Oh my, we have some leakage. And now we look on. We are told... It's made of aluminum, so... Right, guys, let's check the results. It's done reacting. Look at that. So where it was pouring out from the hose, the fins are gone. And it's eaten through the tube. Though it is just one spot. Well, it is what it is. The reaction is over. What about here? Well, the fins are fine. Yeah, it looks all right. It's nice and clean, very nice, and this area is clean, no, it's not seeping through. Oh wait, there it goes. So it did get clean. Okay, so aluminum gets eaten away, I guess it's safe to say, so the stuff works, which is pretty curious. Now let's have a look at the bolts that I chucked in prior to the whole radiator thing. Oh yeah, look at that, nice and clean. One, two, three. Look at that. These are nice. Remember what they used to look like? Now look at them. And I'm able to easily screw this on and take it off. Let's check and see how this one is feeling. It was seized before, but now we're good. There is still a bit of rust left inside. I guess it wasn't seeping in, it was more about the reaction. But you can't get away from the fact. At the end of the day, the iodine served as an effective rust converter. It did quite a decent job with that. 
The radiator was an obvious one. That is what we set out to do, after all. To see what happens to it. And the whole thing was pretty tragic. But overall, this experiment has been a massive success. Just don't try this at home, okay? I mean, the smell was really nasty. And of course, we have another idea about where else we could pour this into. Where you got plenty of aluminium. We still have quite a lot of this magic potion left over. Anyway, make sure to watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a thumbs up. All right, catch you later.